Pope Francis rode the Pope Mobile past several cemeteries in Sarajevo. They had a special resonance because they were built for the more than 11,000 people who died during the four-year siege of the city. Later, he also visited the same stadium that Pope John Paul II had come to years ago. 60,000 people filled the venue, but from the helicopter, it seemed like more. There was a special place in the stadium reserved for those who were hurt or mutilated during the war. That way, they could also attend this mass dedicated to peace and justice. In his homily, Pope Francis directly called out those who he blamed for war. In the context of global communication, there is a climate of war. There is a climate che questo clima vuole crearlo e fomentarlo deliberatamente. In particolare coloro che cercano lo scontro tra diverse culture e civiltà e anche coloro che speculano sulle guerre per vendere armi. In Sarajevo, Pope Francis invited people to think deeply before supporting or defending armed conflict. Ma la guerra significa bambini, donne e anziani nei campi profughi. Significa dislocamenti forzati. Significa case, strade, fabbriche distrutte. Significa soprattutto tante vite spezzate. Voi lo sapete bene, per averlo sperimentato proprio qui. Mai più la guerra. The Pope then explained that politicians are not the only ones responsible for creating justice and peace. He said that it is made with small gestures in daily life and by showing forgiveness at all levels. Quella persona, quel popolo che vedevo come nemico in realtà ha il mio stesso volto, il mio stesso cuore, la mia stessa anima. Abbiamo lo stesso Padre nei cieli. Allora La vera giustizia è fare a quella persona, a quel popolo, ciò che vorrei fosse fatto a me, al mio popolo. The other star of the ceremony was the chorus. The dozens of voices accompanied by a large orchestra played beautiful Bosnian and Croatian music. <laughs> 